What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. You know when I'm barefaced that we're getting ready together. I'm going to be creating a beautiful fall-inspired look today. I have some new beauty products that I want to show you guys, but I also have some oldies but goodies that I want to revisit. So if you want to hang out with me and hear about some of my recent beauty favorites, then keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, guys. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Sophia, and I upload new luxury beauty videos just like this one every single week. And before we get started, guys, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Nordstrom. I'm so excited to be working with Nordstrom, not only because I love shopping at Nordstrom for luxury beauty, but because I know you all love shopping at Nordstrom for luxury beauty. They always have some of the best new releases. And then of course, they also have just classic luxury beauty products that we all know and love. So I'm gonna be featuring some of those in today's video. And I also wanna let you guys know that starting now until the end of the year, all Nordy Club members and Nordstrom Cards members can earn five X rewards on beauty, fragrance and men's grooming that is big and you can earn those points both in store and online so i want to let you guys know about this amazing promo that's a lot of points and i know a lot of you guys do shopping now until the end of the year so i'll put more information about that in the description box and without further ado guys let's get ready together all right party people let's do this we're pinning the hair back we're gonna get into this look and the first product that i have here for our base is actually new. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So this is a new skin tint from Bobbi Brown. I have the shade Light 2. And I'll read you guys the description because I saved the box for this video. This says, a multitasking tint that instantly evens skin while nourishing with a blend of vitamins B, C, and E, plus hydrating and pro-vitamin D and cactus flower for a fresh, healthy looking complexion. I've been using this and it's very nice. It's very hydrating. I'm going to apply some with my fingers because you can kind of do fingers, you can do brush, but I think I'll do kind of like one on one side, one on the other so you guys can sort of see the texture of this. It gives a decent coverage, but it's still very light. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the texture of that. Just like a lot of other skin tints on the market, it does feel very like skin carry and rich and moisturizing. I think that if you like that Bobbi Brown primer, the vitamin enriched primer, you're going to like this. It also has a very similar scent from what I remember. I'm pretty sure the primer has the same sort of scent. Maybe it is the cactus flower, who knows? I like the squeezy tube as well. It's very travel friendly. I have to go on a work trip this upcoming week. I know I just got back from vacation. <laughs> They're like sending me all across the country for like a business offsite. I think I'm going to be bringing this because it's like so travel friendly. I love a good squeezy tube and just because I know I'm not going to be doing crazy makeup looks on my business trip or whatever so I like that I can just apply this with my fingers. I've got a very very light layer on right here so I'll show you. It gives a nice little coverage but it's not super high coverage. It's a skin tint but take a look at that difference. So this is one side of my cheek. I'm a little flushed today and then this is that side. So I'm also gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like with the brush. This is a little bit quicker for me. Either way you do it, it's not super streaky at all. It's a very nice skin tint. So I was excited to have the opportunity to test this out. This stays very moisturizing all day. I think that's the thing that I like about it the most because now that it's kind of officially fall, I do have to start switching over to things that are even more hydrating because my skin is dry and boy does it get dry here in New England where I live. So there you have it friends. This is what the skin tint looks like. It's nice, right? It's not too dewy and gooey. It's very hydrating. Like it gives you that glow, gives you a little bit of coverage there, but nothing too crazy. It's really nice every day skin tint. I'm pretty excited about it. And then for concealer, I thought we would go back to one of my favorite concealers ever. It's not brand new, it came out last year. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer and I have the shade 2.5 Fair. I'm gonna list all the shades that I have in the description box so you guys don't have to remember. This is so illuminating and glowy if you're new to my channel. I love this concealer. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. 
a little bit here, and then I'm gonna put a little bit down the nose there too. I'm just gonna blend it out. A little bit goes a long way. I don't wanna put too, too much because you can get pretty good coverage with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, but because I used a skin tint, I don't want it to, you know, I don't want it to be too much to kind of like overpower what I did for the base. I want this to be like a really nice natural fresh base, something nice and hydrating for the cooler air that has been creeping in here. I went out to dinner last night with my boyfriend and it was 55 degrees. <laughs> I was like, no, and I guess I'm not used to it. So I legit was wearing like a little thermal, a little cashmere sweater, and I even put on kind of like a lightweight fall coat on top because I just couldn't. I was not used to that, especially coming back from Paris a couple weeks ago and it was like 90, 94 degrees in Paris. There was that heat wave. So I definitely am not used to it, but I'm excited for all the fall tings. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of setting and bronzing and friends. Nordstrom has the new Hourglass Holiday Palettes. They have all three of them. Definitely check out my recent video if you guys are trying to decide which one to get. I'm gonna be using the Jellyfish Palette today. This is the lighter of the three palettes. And this is the one that I think works maybe best for my fair skin tone, or at least what works best for me in kind of like the fall and the winter. So I'm gonna be using the setting powder first, just to add like a little bit more blurring because I don't know, I just can't get enough of these blurring powders. I'm gonna be using this one right here, which is called Diffused Light. And I'm just gonna apply a little light layer to the face. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use the bronzer as well. If you really wanna blur and brighten up an area, you can use the lighter of the two palettes that's in this palette. This one is called Ethereal Light. And I like to take this one and just kind of set here in the tear duct region, not only for longevity of the makeup, but it just kind of brightens up the under eyes even more. You can also kind of take it down like the top of the nose. You could do it here on the tops of the cheekbones. It just kind of lightly sculpts in a very, very subtle way. So I'm just adding that kind of like to the high points of the face. I'm gonna use the bronzer right here to add a little bit of warmth to the face. I really like the bronzer that is in this palette. It's not too warm, but it gives a nice little toastiness to the skin. Are you guys doing any exciting like fall things for this season? I think tomorrow morning we're gonna try and go apple picking before football starts because my boyfriend wants to watch football, which I totally get it. So I think we're gonna go apple picking tomorrow, which is a very popular thing to do here in New England. I like it because you just get to be outside of the apple orchard. It's like so relaxing. It doesn't take that long to fill up your little like bushel of apples, but it's just nice to be outside and like they've got cider donuts and like a farm store. Last year we went, I think we took my sister last year and then we took my boyfriend's mom the year before. And I kid you not guys, we went a little bit later, I think maybe like mid-October or something like that. And I kid you not, like most of the apples were gone. We did find some, we did find some apples, but I was like, how is this possible? We go here in this apple orchard and like literally it was so picked over. So this year I'm trying to get on top of that. <laughs> I want the good apples. Like if there's honey crisp, I'm getting those honey crisp, okay? I don't want like red delicious. Nobody likes red delicious. Comment down below if your favorite apple is red delicious. I bet I will get nobody saying that. Everybody knows it's like honey crisp, maybe Fuji, maybe like pink lady, something like that. But legit, no one says red delicious. They are mealy, they are gross, nobody likes them. Speaking of apples, let's put some blush to the apples of the cheeks. See what I did there? See what I did there? I actually didn't plan that, just thought of it. And I have two blushes here. They're both from Tom Ford. These are the Shade and Illuminate blush duos. I actually have all of the shades of these blush duos. And I feel like nobody talks about these anymore. Like everybody's always excited about the Tom Ford eye quads and even the highlighters that he's been launching lately. But I feel like nobody talks about the blushes and they're really nice. So I picked out two. I'm still deciding which one I want. This one is Brazen Rose. This is a really good option if you want, I don't know, just something nice and subtle for every day because you get kind of like 
a slightly pinky nude, and then this beautiful natural rose. And then I also really like this one, which is called Explicit Flush. I use this one a lot in the summer because it has the bright coral. And then you also have this nice brown shade and you can kind of like mix them together. This one can almost be used as a bronzer as well. So <sighs> we're doing kind of like a toastier look on the eyes. So I think I'm going to use the brown side of explicit flush. Let's see how that looks to start. Yeah, that's nice. Let's put it on the apples of the cheeks. These blushes, they're called Shade and Illuminate, and that kind of makes it sound like they're gonna be like shimmery or something like that. They're not shimmery. They have a really nice natural finish. If anything, they're kind of like maybe slightly demi-matte. They're just really beautiful and they're very long lasting. They have good longevity. In general, I just like a blush duo. I like being able to kind of like mix the color together and make whatever color I need for that specific look. And all of the shades are really nice. It's honestly hard to choose between, which is why I was kind of showing you both of them. I'm actually gonna go back into the Jellyfish palette and put just a little bit of the highlighter that's in here. It's really nice. It's very illuminating, so <laughs> See, that's why I said I'm only going to put just a little bit. I cannot resist. If you want to tone it down, you can always mix any of the blushes, any of the powders here with the finishing powders and that tones it down. So if you're like, oh, I want the blush to be a little bit lighter. I want the highlighter to be a little bit lighter. You can always just mix it with one of the finishing powders. That's what it looks like. It's a bit frosty, but I quite enjoy it. I'm gonna do my brows real quick before we get into the eye look. I just wanna sort of have them there so we can see the look coming together. So I have the Kosas Brow Pop. This is my favorite brow pencil or at least one of them. And I have the shade, I believe, Medium Brown. Medium Brown is just a good go-to. I like the fact that this brow pencil, it is not warm toned. It's kind of like a neutral to cool brown and that works really well just with like the natural tone of my brows. And I do have my brows microbladed as well. So I'm always trying to match the brow pencil to that color, the pigment that's there. Okay, I've got them where I want them. Now we're gonna get into the eye look. This is the part I'm most excited about and I couldn't decide what palette I wanted to use. So we're actually going to combine two palettes and it's gonna make sense, I promise. So for sort of the shimmery part of the look, we're gonna be using this Chanel palette. This is a part of the Le Beige line. So this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette and the shade or the colorway is called Intense. I love this, this is such a good fall palette. I brought this with me on vacation. I've had it for a little while now and I can't put it down. I love these tones because you get like some bronzes and golds, but then you get these greens. So you have a lot of options there. And I actually did some swatches for you guys so you can just see how pretty that is. Ooh, can't wait. And then for the mattes that we're gonna play with, I have an all matte palette because there aren't any true mattes in the Chanel one. You can do a full look with it, but I like to kind of pair palettes together. We're just having fun here. So this is a Tom Ford quad. This is called Smoky Quartz. This is in the creme formula. This is a palette that you can do an all matte look for, but I like to pair this with a lot of my other Tom Ford palettes. I recently posted a Tom Ford palette ranking video and doing that video kind of inspired me to pick this one up again. So here are the swatches from that palette. Ah, just like really beautiful suede mattes and it's in that creme formula. So they have that really beautiful kind of like smooth, airbrush type of look. Mm, so good. So I'm excited to create this fall look. Nordstrom has a really good selection of Tom Ford and Chanel makeup just in general. So I'm gonna start off with just kind of like a basic matte. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and use that as a little bit of a base just so we can get something on the eyes. I find that with the Tom Ford creme formula going in with like a goat hair brush is usually best because it just needs a little bit more power to blend it on the eye because it has kind of like that creamy touch and it's blending beautifully. Next, I'm gonna go into the Chanel palette and I think I'm gonna use this khaki green shade right there. I think this is my favorite shade in the palette and it does create a little bit more of a sultry look, see that? It's a little bit on the deeper side, but don't be afraid of it, guys. It's literally the most beautiful color. Like I'll just go in with that color half the time if I want 
a lazy girl makeup look and it looks so elegant and sultry and has like a subtle gold sparkle to it perfect for fall i gotta find some time in the next two weeks i always make these delicious apple cider caramels and they have a little bit of sea salt i basically use a local apple cider or an apple cider from a local farm you guys know what i'm talking about and i boil it down until it's delicious and syrupy and sugary. And then I mix in cream, butter, sugars, and then I boil it to a certain temperature. And then at the very end, I put in some cinnamon and some flaky sea salt and I let it set and it makes the most delicious caramels. Like I always bring them somewhere to give to people. And when people haven't had them at first, they're like, why are you like bringing caramels over my house? And then they eat one. And then every year since then, they'll be like, hey, Sophia, how about them caramels? How about them caramels? It's so good. So I can't wait to do that this fall. I'm also taking a little bit of that khaki and just applying it to the outer lower lash line, but just a little bit, because I am going to use some eyeliner later on that you guys will see. I'm going to go into the bronze shade right here in the Chanel palette, because I want to add a little bit of like a brown element and blend that here into to the outer crease. I'm gonna take this lighter bronze shade right here and I'm gonna work that into more of like the inner half of the eye right here and also right there. And I wanna get in close there so you guys can kind of see that color a little bit better. We're gonna blend around later on to get everything nice and smooth, but for now we're just kind of getting that color on. I like how it's looking. I like how it's looking. I think I'm gonna go back into the Tom Ford palette and I wanna go into the deeper chocolate brown here because these two shades are more on like the cool, the neutral side and these two are warmer. So I think I maybe want to stick to those for this particular look. But I do like the fact that you get options with this palette. That's always nice. I just want to put a little bit more depth there in like the outer corner. I think I might need a smaller brush. There we go. This brush is better. Smoke in the outer corner. And you know, I think I, I want it to be a little bit more green. So I think I'm going to go into this dark green shade from the Chanel Intense palette and use a little bit of that here as well. Yeah, there we go. So it's more of like a brownie green. You can use this dark green color, I've done this before, as like a liner. That also looks really, really good. Lastly, I wanna do a little bit of highlighting. I'm gonna use this shade in the Chanel Intense palette. It is the most sparkly one, I'll show you here that one that's right there that's kind of catching the light and so this one is perfect for just the inner corner right here it adds a little bit of sparkle you do want to tap off your brush like because it's a little bit more sparkly you don't want to get any fallout and i'm going to put a little bit right there too and that's really going to just kind of brighten everything up as promised, I'm gonna blend this out a little bit and these hourglass palettes are so multi-purpose. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. It really doesn't matter which powder you go into, but I'm gonna do this one because it has kind of like a slight golden tone, which I think kind of just goes with the, the tone of the makeup that I have today. And I'm just blending around all of that. Doing this on the upper lid here also, at least for me, it just kind of camouflages and blurs some of the little like veins and stuff that I have on my eye without highlighting any texture. As I mentioned, we're gonna go in with an eyeliner. I just wanna create a little bit more a little bit more drama and dimension. And these are my favorite eyeliners. These are from Chanel. These are the Chanel Stilo Yo Waterproof Eyeliners. And this is my favorite shade as of late. This is called Brun Agape, Brun Agape. And it is just this really beautiful, subtle brown. It has mm, a little bit of shimmer to it, just a little bit, but it's like a nice mid-tone brown that you can wear both in the day and at night if you don't want something that's like too extreme, doesn't make your eyes look too heavy, etc. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you guys didn't know, these eyeliners, they have boop, a little sharpener at the end. So I'm just gonna pop that out and I'm gonna twist mine around a little bit to get it a little bit sharper. All right, let's go in. Do a little bit, a little bit of a wing, I think, and maybe a little bit on the bottom. We'll see. The reason that I like these so much is number one, they're so like bitty, like the tip is so thin. It doesn't break, don't worry, but it helps you get very close to the lash line. Also, 
they're not hard to kind of blend and smudge, but mostly they, they last all day. <laughs> they last so well. It says waterproof and they mean waterproof. This is gonna get you through like a blizzard this winter if you needed to. So I usually just draw the line and then I'll go in with a little brush and I'll just kind of diffuse it a little bit and then I'll kind of like wing it out right there. It just kind of like softens it up so you can see that difference there between without and with. Eyeliner is on, last up for the eyes is mascara and here I have my recent favorite, the Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I feel like I've been talking about this mascara so much, but it is really nice. This is what the brush looks like, by the way. It has a slight curve, but I like that it's nice and tapered because it makes it really easy to just kind of get in there and it gives you so much separation between the lashes. It's like Fan Fest is kind of the best name for it because it makes them look super fanned out. It gives, I think it gives like a decent amount of volume, but it really gives a lot of nice separation and lengthening as well. I mean, look at that. I barely put any on. It looks so good. I love it. I'm also really excited guys for Halloween. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love Halloween. I'm that person that goes all out with their costume. And I usually like to pick something that has like fun makeup or a wig or something like that so i'm starting to brainstorm some ideas so if you guys have any ideas or any like couples costumes ideas that you think i would like that i can rope my boyfriend into doing comment down below and let me know your idea because i would love to hear it but yeah i just love dressing up i love i don't know just kind of like the spooky season and obviously i love candy like any type of candy i absolutely adore i just think it's a fun holiday and then i'm excited for thanksgiving as well go home and hang out with my family so many good things to look forward to all the holiday releases ah it's such a good time of year we are almost done guys let's take down the hair to see how this is coming along the last thing we need to do is lips and i decided to pick something pretty neutral pretty basic but you guys have been loving this lip color on me so i wanted to feature it this is one of the new chanel rouge coco blooms from the fall collection it's such a perfect nude this color is called ease let me give you guys a little swatch nordstrom has pretty much the whole fall collection i know that a lot of things have been selling out but Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, guys, and also following me on Instagram because I let you guys know when those things come back in stock. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you shop from Nordstrom from that collection. So here is the color. It's just a really beautiful, warm nude. It's kind of like perfect for every day. Honestly, if you want to do like a more bold eye like this, this is a good lip color to go for. And if you've never tried this formula before from Chanel, this is definitely one of my favorites from them. It's just like rich, saturated color with a lot of shine it's very moisturizing it's kind of like a balm a very glossy balm mm, i love it and they always have the best colors in this formula if you want to sort of blur any lines on the lips add some hydration this is the formula for you all right friends this is the final look what do we think what do we think i absolutely love it i liked all the products that i use these are kind of just some of my favorite colors in general to use for makeup like warm toasty browns we've got the khaki greens mm, i love it it's a good kind of like day to night sultry autumnal look make sure you comment down below and let me know which of the products was your favorite let me know what kind of makeup you've been loving this fall any holiday releases that you're excited about halloween ideas recipe ideas send them all to me comment down below and if you like this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already what are you waiting for and finally of course i want to thank nordstrom so much for sponsoring this video thank you so much for working with me and with that friends i hope that you see some beauty in your day and i'll see you in my next one goodbye <laughs>